What is going on guys? Do it yourself and your flock heart. And today I'm going to be showing you four hidden features about your Chevy Silverado that you may not have heard about before. Let's get into it. All right. The first feature I'm going to be showing you guys is how to roll down your windows with your remote. So if you click this unlock button three times and hold it down on the third time, it is not rolling down your windows right now. So I'm gonna show you guys how to change that in your settings within your vehicle to roll down the window. We just wanna go into our settings here, click on settings under the remote lock, unlock and start. We'll click that. There is a remote window operation here, window operation to the on position and let's go outside and try it. All right, so now that we have that remote window operations button clicked, we can go ahead on our remote again, click it three times and hold down. We're gonna get our windows rolling down, which is exactly what we want. Unfortunately, with this feature, if I click it three times now, it's not going to roll the windows up. Uh, with some of the higher trim models, I believe that it does, but unfortunately with my Silverado Custom, it does not. So just something to bear in mind when you uh, roll your windows down, you are gonna have to be a peasant and roll your windows up manually, unfortunately. All right guys, so the second feature I'm gonna be talking about is what your vehicle does when you click the lock button. So when we go into the settings, you guys may not have known this, but if you click on the remote lock, unlock and start feature here, and you click on the remote lock feedback, you can change it from uh, doing nothing to giving you lights and horn at the same time when you click the lock button, as well as you can change it to lights only or horn only. I keep it on the lights and horn because if I'm a distance away, maybe I can't hear the horn, but I can see the lights. So that's the feature I like, but you can change it to whichever you like. All right, guys, the third feature I'm gonna be talking about is how to turn your traction control all the way off. Some of you guys may not know this, but if you click the off button, you just click it once, it's gonna tell you your traction control is off. But if you actually turn it back on and then hold down the button the entire time, it's gonna say traction control off, continue holding, and you're gonna get the ESC off. That's gonna make sure that the stabilizer is entirely off. And you can also see there that you've got the traction control uh, with the little dash through it, as well as your uh, traction control off on the left. If you just have it off, so let's turn it back on. We turn it off, we just get that one light come up on the dash. But if we turn it off with both, we're gonna see both lights come on the dash. All right, guys, for my last hidden feature, this is by far my favorite hidden feature about the Chevy Silverados is if you're anything like me, I like to run a dash cam with my vehicle. And when my vehicle does not have the key on, I'm still getting power to the cigarette lighter. So the only way right now is to pull this out every single time and that's gonna turn my dash cam off. But this 12 volt plug is live at all times. So even without the key in it, I plug this in and it's gonna turn my dash cam right back on but I'm gonna show you guys exactly how you can make this so that when you turn the key to the on position or the auxiliary position, then this 12 volt plug becomes live and it's not live all the time. If you don't know already where your fuse box is, it's on the passenger side of your vehicle. You can go ahead and pull this panel off. I'm just gonna grab from the bottom here, give it a bit of a pull and it's gonna come right out. You're gonna have your fuse box right here. So this large plug, that 50 50 there you see that there's three holes for it you can see that there's one prong available all we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this 50 50 plug out like so you can see that there's the three prongs and now we're gonna be moving this over to the two prongs that it was not in before and that's as simple as that. So now when I turn the key to the on position, as you can see, my dash cam is off, even though it's plugged in with no key in it. I'm gonna put the key in, turn to the auxiliary position to the on position, and my dash cam lights up. All right guys, that's the four hidden features and I'll see you next time.